Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Shelb Reports Poltergeist. I can never say that word. <laughs> um, this is episode 10, I think. Um, I've lost count. I just kind of just record and then upload and then yes. Anyway, let's get back to this puzzle. This is where I left off last time. It's basically just putting couples together, I'm assuming. Nothing goes here, nothing goes here, as far as I know. Let's hope that I'm right. Okay, so those are all the ones. Let's do the girls first, because to me, or at least this generation first, because I think that's easier. Um, not her. <laughs> well, no, no, can't be her. Ta-da! Yes, possibly. Okay, and then they had a son. Their son must have been born, let's say, 18-something. And, yes, so... 18-something. Eighteen forty-three. Yeah, that could be one. Let's try that. They had two sons. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, let's try that again. So that's that. And then he probably most likely married her. And he probably most likely married... They're both in the same range. Wait, let me figure this out. 1961. So Catherine was married to Henry. And then... They had a girl, and the girl was born in 1873. She was married to this guy? Yeah? I probably have these two mixed up. Yeah? Oh, some of them are missing. Are we... Oh, that scared me. Okay, so apparently we're missing some, which is surprising to me. Um, can we actually- oh. I was gonna be like, can we actually go to that floor? The creepiness is real, guys. That goes floor two, which is where we need to go. Makes no sense to me. Oh, jeez, we're in the attic. Come to a lighthouse tonight. So that was clearly the killer. And here's a hidden object scene with fabulous flashlight status. That is a very creepy portrait. I don't want to flash my flashlight at it again. It creeped me out. I'm sorry. Oh, look at it, gnome. I can't handle. Oh, but I have to. Oh, the struggles. No, I don't like it. Okay, sheep. Pustache, stop. Our glass feet. This is missing something. It's missing this. It works. Wait, spyglass. I just saw it. Picon. <laughs> pincon. That's what it's called. It's called a pincon, guys. Hourglass. Stamp. Is it talking about like the little stamp or is it talking? Ugh. I always ask that question every time something comes up and I don't know what it is. Okay, we got the pumpkin. The pumpkin. The kin of the pump. <laughs> I'm so weird. I guess that was the stamp? Okay. Tin opener. Okay. There's sardines in this open can, tin can. I'm going to be disgusted. Ew, I am disgusted. I don't want to know where they put the tin. Not the tin, the sardines that they got from it. I don't want to know. What does this look at? Oh. Uh. The killer was watching all along for someone who told the killer. Don don don. And I would rebuke him. He must understand his family service. Mine, if he had expanded for six generations, would not give him the right to make decisions on behalf of the king. Tell it straight. <laughs> um, is there really nothing else in our inventory except this stuff? 
I need something sharp to get rid of the band. It's called ripping it. <laughs> okay, dude. I'm a girl and I'm a lot more daring than you are, which is kind of sad. Um, key part 10. We could have used the freaking. Whatever. I'm done. Done with you. Oh no! 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 Uh uh. Nope! Mm mm. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm, no, this is not happening. Oh my god. No. no. Oh my god. No, no. Someone killed the butler. No. I don't like this. I don't like this game anymore. Oh my gosh, no. I don't like this. This is not cool. I really don't like this. <laughs> this is really traumatizing. I can't handle. I just, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. What is in here? It better be something useful. Really? Really? All of that for planks of wood? No. I'm so done. So done. Aw, oh, jeez. I can't handle how traumatizing this is. Doors? How about you open? Oh, it's the other way. Okay, I'm in panic mode. I cannot deal with this. I really can't. Oh, jeez. I need to remove the grate. How am I gonna? Oh. Mm, I need to unscrew it. Okay. Okay, I need to be back in chill mode. Can I be back in chill mode? I need to chill out. <laughs> Honestly, that was really scary for me. And did you notice it didn't look like the butler? No! Uh, that means that there's someone else in the house with us, and that really freaks me out. I'm gonna go knock desperately on the door. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Good to know, thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna go melt this thing. Whatever it was, so statuette. Oh no. Listen, ghosty ghost. Ain't got time for that. Ghosty ghost ghost, trying to get on my nerves. So me no. Hot metal. What am I gonna use hot metal for? I clearly don't know. I cannot handle this game any longer. Hence me hitting the freaking hint button. 50 bajillion times. What is this? Uh, pottery clay. Eh? No. Eh? No. Eh? No. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Eh? Uh, there is clay. Art. Yeah? Ta da! Okay, wait. And that needs to. Doesn't. I cannot handle this game. I honestly cannot. This game is driving me nuts. Ah, we have to make a new key. And then we use these. See? Finally everything makes sense. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I already forgot what this key was for. <laughs> oh, is it, is it for the hallway? I think so. Oh my goodness. This game is killing me slowly. I'm not gonna make it to the end, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. This is really scary. Ten minutes. All right. Okay. So... This is where I'm going to go ahead and end the video, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you are just as freaked out as I am. Um, stay tuned for the next episode, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!